You found the new new Harvey 1019, New York's number one for throwbacks. Business segment where, you know, blacks on new blacks on Wall Street, we got to put a spotlight on the building on the building blocks of this entrepreneurial grind that's out here in these streets. So we got we got C seven delivers own well first I got my man Swerve here. He, this is not this is a rare sighting of us being together on the show. What up Swerve? Hey how y'all doing? I'm good. Um but other than that we, I got I got um we got Miss Quavez and Mr Mr. Goon here. Um mm-hmm. of C seven delivers. Um let's talk about it. Hit, you get to your mic and your headphones on. He got he got your headphones. You got those. Yeah, y'all can. She she don't want to mess up her hair. Yeah, I gotta have headphones on. I mean, you gotta hear how you sound, and then you can take them off after that. Okay. Now I don't put you gotta look like you on the hair. radio. <laughs> this is my baby. C seven is my baby. Talk to the mic. Yeah, talk to the mic. C seven is my baby. You know what I mean? C seven everything. If y'all know me, y'all know I'm C seven everything. We don't just stop at like delivery service what i'm proud about this delivery service is that we're able to give people jobs mm-hmm. those are your headphones that, that, oh. so tell us how did, how did it all start you you got you going into the love affair with the baby but we want to know how the baby was born how did you get started with first it starts with a thought it starts with a thought first with a thought you know what i mean you got to think of something you got to come up with something you know what i mean first I'm, I'm 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 a block boy i don't really like working for people so if i got to work for somebody I'm going to work for myself, and I work for, for, the, for the goddess. So now it don't make me feel like I work for somebody when I'm working for the family, right? Yeah, only if you knew my schedule. My schedule is crazy right now, but I don't complain because yeah. I'm doing it for the what family. What else would you be doing if you wasn't doing what you're doing? Like, what, you have something else you'd rather be doing at this stage of your life? Oh, nah, I love everything that's going on, but um, uh, uh, do we want better? absolutely who doesn't want better yeah of course we that's what we fighting for but i remember when my business my business was street business right, right, right. now i'm legitimate business and my business is paying bills so not I, only is it paying bills but it's helping other people pay bills now i tell that to a lot of people that um that talk about the hustle game especially some of these young these youngins a lot of hustlers that were hustling in, in their 18s to their 20s are not 40 year old still hustling. Like at some point, your brain would have to evolve, whether it's legal, illegal. But it's just you just don't want to be. I don't even play video games, and I used to play video games every day. I used to love video games. Mm-hmm. I say that to say that you, your mind is going to shift as you grow. And so the point that that, that Goon was just making is that he don't have to be illegal now, and now he's legal. But it's the hustle don't stop. It's still the same. You still gotta move. It ain't like you just sitting with your feet up now. Now it's like now you gotta like figure out a new way to get to it. You know my block. You mm-hmm. know my block was shifts, right? Mm-hmm. The shifts. I had graveyard, right? Yeah, overnight. What people don't understand is um, when you when you own something, there are no shifts. You're a twenty four hour dude. You're always on call. You're always never on call, off right. work. You're never off work. That's the yin and yang to owning your own business. When you own your own business, you have to take care of it. You are human resources. Right. Right. So if there's a dilemma, it's whether it's good or bad, you have to deal with it. But for me, I have the best, I got the best other half, bro. You heard? I got my secret weapon. I happen to be in love with my secret weapon and married to my secret yeah, and they, weapon. Yeah, and some people would, would beg to differ that you you can't mix business with, with, with pleasure or with family with business. And I'm like, now nah, you can't do that with your family. Me and my family are good with business. Like, Who um, else would you rather do business well, with? Well, that's some people's family because some people don't have solid, all right, see, you know what I mean? Is, all right, you have. Talk right, to the mic. You, you yeah, have, for an artist, you, you sure keep moving you, away from the mic. Like, look, he needs you here right look, now. Look, like, look, you, you have relatives and you have oh, family. family. See, that, see, that's right, a good breakdown. It's, it's, a, it's a difference. My yeah. relatives are blood relations. Open you up. feel me? So I'm dealing with these people almost because I have to. Right. All right. There's only one goon per family. There's only one goon per hood. You you, you seen another goon on Boston Road, my guy? Have you nah. ever seen yeah, you seen another, another goon on Boston not Road? Name, not name goon. I'm no, saying you no. see somebody who do what the, nah. what the hell I do, what I've been doing over these years? 
There's, there'll never be yeah. another me, man. There's not going to be another me. You know, there's only one you. There's right, only right. one DWI per family. Right. There's only one DWI per hood, mm -hmm. per region. Your twin is from somewhere else. From somewhere else, right. All right. the time, all but, the time. But the, the important thing I want to talk about is the resources that you guys have, what, what your business is about. Because when, I, when we get to having these conversations, the videos, la they go on the internet and they last forever. They move around. So now anybody's watching it. So I like to make many commercials out of my interviews so that um, when a business comes up here, we, we actually got a movement that's coming up. New Blacks on Wall Street. I know you said you want to end. We're about to have the shirts out. The shirts are going to represent New Blacks on Wall Street. It'll have the bull representing the 40, 40, uh, 42 Broadway. But then it's going to have everybody's logos for their business. And we're all going to stand out there. Where you, you, did you see the people standing out by the bull over there? No. All right. So y'all missed that. When y'all go back outside, walk to the she, left. You're going to see always, a long line. She's always making me better. You see? A, a, long, a, long, a long line. Um with people out there rubbing the bulls on um, nuts <laughs> oh, wow. because oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a superstition that yeah, it yeah, gives yeah. you good luck. So a lady won the lottery after doing this. Now everybody comes to this country and they do. If, you, well, I'm you know, for, 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 look, look, for a lady <laughs> to rub on a bull's nuts. Now, it's guys too, though. It's guys down Something there. Something is wrong there with you, fellas. Mm -hmm. We don't no, rub. No, no, no. If they believe, because it's all about having faith and believing, right? Okay. That's what you do. You just, you just follow it. So okay, no, going no, on. No, you rubbing no, on? No, you rubbing no, on? No, 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 no. We ain't rubbing no balls, knowing that it's some some balls. Right. <laughs> we ain't rubbing no balls. See, I mean, superstition. You know what I believe? Hard work pays off. Okay, so you're not you're not doing. You the, feel you're me? Not doing it. So luck, luck, luck. Yo, man, I come from the street, bro. Luck is what you make it. You feel me? If you grind hard, preparation. Is better than luck. All right. So since since you keep making the correlation of the street and and where you are now, like what what give me give us some similarities of things that you was able to transfer over from going from the street to now being corporate. And easy, uh, easy. Number one is being a stand up person. Okay. See, people think because you go into corporate that there ain't more snakes over there. No, people are more ruthless over there. In the business, huh? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think that? Oh, I see the street person. I know what you're going to do. You want Greg Gunn? Want fight? <laughs> that corporate person, uh, in the words of my boy Blast, uh, a paper gangster. Right. Right. So, people will get over you in business. So, with me, a best of both worlds. What I don't know, my other half knows. Mm -hmm. My weakness or her strengths. Mm -hmm. But you know, we don't play with people. Right. You see, my eyes say I don't play. We literally. A situation in my business just now, and it, 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 it is gonna it's gonna continuously to happen, right? Because people will try to take advantage of you if you let them. But see, there's a there's a system that we got going on, and I usually do it most of the time. I started uh, uh, uh most wait, well most of the time my wife starts it, because that's the most righteous person in my circle. That's the most righteous in person in my family. When I have to talk, mm -hmm. it's over, bro. You passed her. It don't get so nice anymore. Right. It so gets, it gets crucial now. With that being said, and so do you find that people like hide behind contracts and lawyers and absolutely as they should, right? As they should, because this ain't the street no more, right? Right. There's only one way to hurt somebody when it come to business. Is that's in, in looking? My in wife pocket. could finish that. It's only in the pocket, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, it's only in the business. Um, uh, uh, we just got docked a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I got mad. Mm -hmm. But it's nothing I can do, right? I lost money because one of my drivers was off. Right, right. It's a certain time you got to get there and everything. On point, you on, be on point, right. bro. And I got mad for a second. I was like, man, this person, man, why would she do that to us? Why would they? Yeah. <laughs> why would they, why would they, well, why yeah, would they and, take and this money from us, one, right? One of the things I'm, I'm learned in, in business is um, there's always going to, just like the industry, there's always ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I, uh, I don't know if you I have a business as well. I've been doing merch for about eight years now. Um, I've been doing very well. Um, so um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to um, now. I want to get the machines because I want to cut where I outsource at and do everything in house uh. and 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 um, stuff like that. So I'm getting some help, uh, some some 
because right now it's just me. And I've been moving this stuff out of state on my own two feet. Wow. You know, back and forth to North Carolina, uh, uh, Be More, Virginia, Philly, by myself. And m- one of the things, you know, I'm with a coalition called the Fleet DJs. And that was that's where it started. Mm-hmm. And then I just created, just last year, the 50 Years of Hip Hop Hats, if you've seen it. I'm the only person in New York that did that. i seen it, I'm like, why nobody's doing it? I see money left on the table, I'm like... You know what? And I started doing that, and they're still moving. You know, so, so now I got. Where's, where's the site for us to post that I don't have I don't have the site up right now. I just do do I use an IG, um, but I do own I do have the uh, URL name. I do have that started that early. You know. Yeah. 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 He did these hats. These, this no, I didn't do this. No, I didn't do like, this. Like, that's not true. Oh, no. that's new. Before we go, because I know we have to go. Um, we brought you guys some gifts from C7. C7. Here. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. I wish I knew y'all was here, but I would have brought y'all something too. You know what I mean? Well, they're going to be here until the end of March. So if you could send it, you could send it, uh-huh. send it through. Send it, send it through the, 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 the pipeline. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Kev, 950 Kev online too. So yeah, so let's just talk about some of the, so you do the nine, I'm, excuse me, you do the, the C7 delivers, but there, there are other things that you guys are, responsible for too. I know y'all have Airbnbs going on. Um what else am I missing anything that Yeah, I I, I wanna I wanna um well Dre you wanna do an assist yeah, wanna, you wanna do the behind the back. Nah I love I love I love the assist game. I've been I've been Batman so long bro I love to be Robin, right? I love it now where you don't have to do as much but you gotta keep your grind up. Drea's done a lot, bro, and uh, one of the things that she's done for with me a, with a full time career too. Right, let's just and, wake um, that up. Um, like, not only does she solidify all the contracts that we have, make sure everything is right before me and anybody else touch the road, but Drea done dropped the own label. Right. Mm-hmm. So now she's like she got her best worker working for her now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so salute to Driz who she don't stop. She sees opportunity. Like people think this battle rap said, remember we was battle rapping in the street for a long time. As far as doing it on camera and all of that, a lot of people don't even know that. That's not yeah, me. Yeah, used to go get forty cal. Used yeah, to be down that, on the. That, I used to be in the young. street, street doing this. Like people, I, I didn't even know that there was a world in battle rap for real like that. Right. It was Dre that brought me to that table. She drab like like yo when you be around business people for so long, you become business, bro. Be become mm-hmm. business. Now look, she became she would have been around people who work out for so long. Now look at her. Now she's like out working out everybody. Now she's everybody's motivation. We she was, we used to motivate her to work out. Look at her now. We kind of like she's like oh, we off now. She going to the gym every day. Now it's hard because you we looking at a person like you say, who's running a whole career, mind you. All the businesses, all of them, bro. Mm-hmm. all of them. She's running all of them. Yeah, I'm the worker ant, but there wouldn't be the worker ant if there wasn't any work. business to work, right? Right. You got to have work to be a mm-hmm. worker ant. That's why Demetrius. I'm the number one worker ant because Drea makes sure that we got work. She gonna bring the work to the table, bro. May reminds me out on the block. Right. You say you a hustler, right? <laughs> <laughs> go hustle. Go hustle, bro. Go he ain't hustle. gonna teach you to hustle. You got you say you a hustler, and, and one thing that I don't have to worry about, none of our drivers have to worry about the particulars of the business if Dre is running it. Right. We don't have to worry about us being cheated on or nothing. None right. of that stuff. You know what Everything's I mean? So in smooth. return, we we kill ourselves for the team. We all of us. Shout out to shout out to Crims, man. Shout out to my boy Crims because yeah, he runs. Crims, Crims r- definitely runs the um the Brooklyn side, the Brooklyn and Manhattan side for us. Also, you know what I mean? Like shout out to Reese, Reese Alston. She 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 does a lot for us, man. Happy birthday, happy belated to both to the twenty twin twins, man. We just went out celebrated with the twins in Brooklyn. Yeah, I seen y'all. Y'all was looking good outside. They was wowing. They was wowing. Yeah, yeah. They was wowing. Yeah. I love stuff like I love celebrating people. I, I love celebrating people who deserve celebration. Celebration, right? Right. Everybody don't deserve a celebration, homie. You sat on the couch all year. You, you ain't do nothing bot- all you year. The bottle your for? jump shot just got better in the park. <laughs> but you a bum, bro. You a bum. Why are we celebrating your birthday? Why do you deserve a bottle for your birthday? <laughs> School is revoking birthdays. What do why? you do? What do you do to earn? Why, do, birthday why did you year? do to deserve this birthday that we all popping bottles and getting dressed up for you? What you did this year, bro? 
Right. For real, man. Well, well, one of the things I say is celebrate a, a life. life. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. most important. See, this is the thing, man. And <laughs> you know? me and my wife was just talking about this, and I need, and I don't want to. Glad, glad, glad you said it. I don't want to. I don't want to so. shoot that balloon that you said because what you're saying is true. But what I realize in this world is just because you alive don't mean you're living. You living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to realize that fast. Yeah, we alive, yeah. But we all want more. We mm -hmm. all, everybody, everybody want more. You got a choice. Mm -hmm. You can be Uncle Earl on the couch. Oh, you could be Goon Dre at DWY, mm -hmm. swear, running around, <laughs> doing what they doing. That's it. Right? It's a, it's a, you got a choice, bro. Mm -hmm. You have a choice in this world. You have a choice, man. You have a choice to be a bum. You have a choice to be a lazy person. You have a choice. You know what I mean? If you ain't got no car, don't worry about what gas this car takes. Right. So can we see what you guys got? Oh yes, we can. We can open this, and I want um, I want you guys to give give some contact information so that the people that's listening on iHeartRadio, Party One Hundred One Point Nine, can um. Well, listen, man, you can, you can always holler at us at 888-559-5159. You can do, well, I don't care what department you want. You get you, you, you get to us. Huh? You get uh, burgundyc7.shop for the clothes. But, again, you want to, you need to speak to somebody. You need to see what's up. You need to speak to somebody. You speak. You, you can get right to us at 888 559 Five. Let me see. Pull them up. Pull them up again. Let me see them again. Just so you know, like insides of the shorts. Come on, that's dope. There's pockets inside. Those are dope. See, you got the goon pockets inside? Yeah, you know you got to have a goon pockets. You got to have a stash box, bro. You know you got to have a stash box, bro. Who's in the stash? You got to have a stash box, bro. You just never know when you're going to need it. And trust me, I needed them in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> shout out to everybody that's too. Shout, shout, out to, shout, out to, shout out to them police in Ghana. Man. Right. You little they, crooked little crooked, devils. Right. You, man. Talking about go back to Africa. Uh, what? Saying, they going to rob you. Land, rob you. But, no, no, it was beautiful out yeah. there. No doubt, but you definitely need a splash box in a um in the jump off. So, you know what I mean? So you could definitely get at us at the um 888-559-5159. Get the receptionist. You need to speak to one of us directly. Leave a message. If not, one of us will, they'll they'll get one of us on the line. As far as clothing and merch, Burgundy C7 Dot Shop. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, we do big business delivery services. Uh, uh, what I like about the delivery services is that we're empowering people to control their own neighborhoods. So not only do we run our own delivery service, but we, we allow people to be able to run your own delivery service, service. Through, in, in your area you through us, and you, okay. can, you can get the money because the structure will already be there as far as for, for low. A lot of people see they hear delivery service with me and uh, or with C7, and they think Uber Eats and... Yeah. Bro, if you want chicken wings and french fries, don't call me. <laughs> nah, bro, I don't deliver chicken wings and french fries. That's the, I mean, I, I, I apologize. Sooner or later, we'll get a local to do something like that, but that's not what we do. We service uh, the state. We service people, uh, uh, low-income uh, people, uh, veterans, wounded veterans, pregnant women. You know what I mean? Right now, we're servicing children who are, who are in the system. Right, so so yeah, we doing things like that. Uh, uh, my next uh, is jail. Mm -hmm. That's the next one. We're go, trying to go. get the jail. We're trying to get the jails and be able to uh, go ahead and, and and be able to do some things for the people behind. Autumn, the wall. what up? Autumn season. So, Yo, so I, and I got a, I got a brother that I'm about to start working with up in Boston. Um, um, Amani uh, and Mom Allah. Where's his book at? Where's that book at? What happens to the book? All right. Anyway, um, yeah, his book is that he he has a service where he's working with kids that 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 come home from jail or that that dealt with that. And I recently I interviewed him last week, and um, I talked I called him today, and he said, "Yo, I'll I'll, I'll fly you up. I'll put you in a hotel, pay you for the you know what your services, so you can come up here and do the podcast thing with the kids." So we're about to take this whole delivery. And listen, I'm I'm state to state with it, so I might be C seven delivering. Drop making drops in between Boston and New York City, like because that's how it has to happen. One thing happens, and then you figure out how to make money in between those lines. Yeah, and I but, still have connection within the, in the system because you know I worked with in child care, so I worked in that environment. You know uh, what I'm saying? So I still have the connections up there, and I, I used to do program at in Valhalla. See, I want to work with yeah. the kids. I want to work with the kids because um, yeah, that's why that's they, my um, field. Yeah, they um. Uh, not really mine. I never want to be a role model, bro. I really, I, I never cared, bro. You heard? I never. But you, I ne but but I mean, 
<laughs> no, he's just talking to them. I, 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 I um, just, I disregard that. I, I just want to, want to. The the way that the kids are is not the way we were. Of course, right? and so, I, I, I know, can tell you firsthand, and, um, they're definitely not. It, it's it in a, it's nothing wrong with it, but it's sad because um, the trouble that that they come, they come with their nonsense. It's it's life changing, bro. And somebody needs to tell these dudes that are, yo, bro, y'all dudes is mad talented. You don't even need the nonsense, bro. Really don't. Oh, you got too much technology, too yeah, much I'm options you got, out you here. Got, you got to, so much stuff. And what it is is, um, see, when I was when we was growing up, the bad boy was the cool dude. Mm -hmm. It was cool. That's why everybody wanted to be a bad boy, right, to an extent. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not the case today because people stupid. Mm-hmm. It's a difference, man, between... I think once the internet came up, was born, it's a that's difference. when it all started. Look, it's a difference between doing bad and being a bad person. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of followers, not enough leaders. I'm I mean, just saying, it's it, just it's just just because you do bad don't make you a bad person. Yeah. There, there are people yeah. that do bad that are really good people. Trying right, to survive. like, right? You got you. How you gonna say a hustler is bad? Yes, yes, yes. He's kind of bad because he's poisoning his people. But his intentions is in the right direction. Why is he doing it? He want to eat. Mind, give him another way to eat. I bet you he won't do it. Why? Mm -hmm. I, I'm living proof of that. You show me a way I can eat. I won't touch a rock no more unless I'm playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have no reason for it anymore. And I was good at what I did, bro. I was okay, man. I ain't never had no no drama. Even when we, y'all remember the story when we had the drama. <laughs> even even when they came to the house with the drama, there was no drama. You understand? Like there was. They they tried it. Yeah, yeah. They tried to save my brother Sniff Coke. Once they did that, I said I'm done. They tried to say DWI is a drug addict. My bro is against drugs. He's been against drug all his life. So I, I missed that, that rumor. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> it, oh. it was when the parole flipped on the oh, house. Oh, oh yeah, curfew? no, I do remember yeah. this story. Yeah. They came to the house. I broke curfew. They came to the house a while, and then this how you know like. There was no trouble with me. I was decent. I, I stay out of the radar. I don't mess with people. I stay out of the way. And now, mm -hmm. when I don't have to do that, I don't have to be in those negative lights no more. Doors open. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm no longer a liability to even those who knew me in the past. Because if you if you didn't know me, if you knew me uh, six months ago, you you got to re meet me again. Right. I, my life changed from last year to this year. Trust me, you don't know me already. Damn, my I, life changed I, I, fast. I had a question. Year. I had a question. I wanted to end with that before we get into this, these bars because you're not gonna get out of here without giving us some bars. Damn, my sister got the Oculus over there. We got to we got to work on that as we walk down outside. Um, I forgot all about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like someone like Chris Brown, he had a fight him and Rihanna. They got into a scuffle. He put he left her bruised up. She forgave him. He did his time. NBA still won't let him perform. Do you think someone has go, that's gone to jail for doing something that they did their time and come home that should still be held against them in the future? Especially when they was a juvenile and they wasn't an adult. Can I answer my part? Heck so no. Heck. Once they, they serve their time, because when you guys are serving time, you're serving it not just for yourself, but you're, serving, you're giving back to the, to the community. Once they get back to the community and they've done what they were supposed to do, that they're on a clean slate. They should not be held accountable for the things that they've done years ago, especially when they're minors. And Chris Brown was 18 at the time. Hmm. So now with him being a whole full grown adult, he hasn't been a, what is it, a right. repeat offender when it comes right, to right, that, right. right? It wasn't so a consistency thing. It is definitely something that people need to learn to live, to let go of. Like, let them go run up and down the court with the damn ball. Who is that hurting? The crit sponsors. The sponsors. The but, ruffles. But, ruffles. But, ruffles but, but that, that's exactly who it is. It's bad. You that's understand? Bad for them. Like, uh, nah, nah. Um, you got to think like this. Um, nobody wants to uh, jeopardize promote. their business on a possible liability. Okay, but how is it a possible liability if he had if he's right. not a repeat offender? This is this is or why is sometimes you don't have to be a, a repeat offender. All right, let me, let's speak about me, right? How mm -hmm. people view me. That's why I always fight forward. Nobody don't really have too much negative things to say about me because you're always gonna be viewed as the worst, right? Mm -hmm. All the time. That's what they do, right? So I push forward in positivity, so you can't say that. I know people used to say you're gonna be a bad father. I'm like a great father. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to be, you're gonna be a bad husband. You out of control. I'm actually a trained 
puppet. I hear you, bro. Okay. So right? To your point. What I'm saying is the animal, is he's inside. Um, Don't think because I ain't get up and smack the sh out of you today that um I won't. Oh, I will, and I don't have to be mad to do it. So that means what I'm trying to say. Up in life, what I'm trying to say is, people are always, are. especially look, man. People are always gonna view you from your worst, right? Mm -hmm. So they always, you gonna every day have to prove that you're not that person until when? Until until you die. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that's how the the world judges you. So if they know, look how my family treats me. Shout out to you guys. I wish everybody's good, but look at me. I'm doing great. <laughs> But this is what they do. They're gonna, they're gonna. That's why I said you gonna have to re meet me, right? If you ain't spend no time with me, you are gonna have to re meet me because you don't know who I am. But that person, that ex alcoholic, the alcoholic is still in him. He just learned how to control him, who, right? The alcoholic, a dude who is the met. If I, if I, if I get caught, if we get in trouble for punching you, ah, shut up, Dre. <coughs> It don't matter if I didn't hit you for another two years. You are known for hitting a woman, bro. And it, you want to say, yo, let it go, let it go. He served his time. You right. You did serve your time in the, in the world of the law and society. But as far as righteousness, you didn't, bro. But you, you, know, you know one thing? With that with that situation, it wasn't all Chris. It was both parties. Of course parties. it was. But, we know but, this. But, but the man is always going right. to get the worst right. end right. of because the Because she shit, performed bro. that Super Bowl it doesn't last matter. year. Right. It doesn't matter what a and woman a does, bro. Look, and man. she hit him. All right, look at this, man. How is it that I could smack a woman right now when I could go to jail for domestic disputes, but she could smack me and she was just in the right, she she was in the right. Because well, I was out of control. They could start at first, provoke you, and she, then you right, get out of control, right. whoop, and then now it's looked at. Until crazy. today, shorty, because today you make me identify as a woman anytime I want. So keep your hands <laughs> to your goddamn self. <laughs> keep your hands to your goddamn self, because I'm known to go... <laughs> 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 and you wanted equality now you have it so if you don't want the hands of god to touch you i advise you keep your hands to yourself and not just with me that's just that's where every so you man. so you going for that tony and that oscar you're like, oh, oh i'm yeah, a switch yeah, like, like, i'm so sorry <laughs> um we asked for equality baby girl you got it um uh, um so this is the problem right now that you you're gonna have people such as myself that I'm I'm still goon and there's certain things that I have no rules to. I don't care. You violate the family regardless of who you are. If you're a woman, God bless you. Why did you play with me? <laughs> Nobody didn't tell you that you should play with something that's safe. You didn't hear about me because I'm light skinned. You think it's a game? I eat food for real. So if you man enough, shorty, to play with me and my family, you got to be man enough to take what I'm giving because I'm giving it out. I don't never have the day. Oh, I can't do this because I got my family. Bro, this is why I do this. This is why nobody messes with my family today. Not only am I respectful, but I don't play with people. I don't play with this. I don't play with people the same way I don't want them to play with me. So I cheat, show people the same respect right, right. that I get. You know that I'm chitty chitty bang bang. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know me. But I also know that there's other people that chitty chitty bang bang. And so let's be show respect. Right, so I don't get into drama because I just am a respectful person, but that don't mean that the little guy is not inside and the world is gonna always judge you for what you did wrong. Like I've been running businesses for years, but they still talking about me like I'm selling drugs. Right, right. I can't run from that. That's how they, they know me. I can't, I just gotta keep fighting, keep fighting, keep going forward. So I feel sorry for Chris that he can't do what he do while right. on some woman, but come on, a woman could, call. I don't have to hit Drea right now, man. If Drea's sick of me right now, she could dial 911 and said, he just hit me at the radio station. I'm going to jail. First. Right now. They're coming for me. But if I call the police and say, hey, she hit me, they're gonna be like, yo, hey, yo, man up, bro. <laughs> Well, what's up with your, 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 your blocking hand? What's an up or son? They're going to tell me to man up. They're going to act like I'm a coward. They're going to come at me like I'm a coward. That's what they're going to do. The world is the world is The world is not, a, not, not really until now. Until now that we got a one up. That, until now. That now a woman has to act right because I can identify as a woman right now. Yo, he's crazy. Yo, all right, we got to get out of here. Um. There's another show coming up next, but let's get these bars. Let's get throw that beat on, uh, Mariah. Let's give him some fire, Mariah. And I'm gonna move out the way, 
and let the camera, you know, do what it do. Turn it up a little bit in the room. C7, Burgundy C7, the one and only goon. Let's go. Oh, is it? Shout out to our boy Jay Rim. Golden Squad, Burgundy C7. You already know what it is. You know the slogan. Anything golden. Let's go now. Yo. Uh huh. I'm the one to hit you with like three with a four five and rock like six niggas run or they all die. Dudes hate because I'm motherfucking great. I ain't gotta say no names. You know who C7 ain't. I ain't gotta say a nice. I'm an iller nigga. I got more than nine different ways I could kill a nigga. These niggas can't see me when I'm rapping Cause I'm cold like an ice cube when I'm toting a Mac 10 Ain't no love over here, I ain't Kevin Niggas need that Blanquita, you could get it for 11 I ain't worried about nothing, I'm too focused on myself And I will never go back to bagging up 12 twelves I'm dirty, Cobra Kai, no mercy Horror show, everything I spit, Friday the 13th I'm dope, I spit crack and morphine At 14, I kill 14 in my 14s By 15? I was serving sick fiends. By 16, I was freestyling hot 16s. By 17, I was working on my state greens. Hottest nigga in the yard when I was 18. Any nigga I battle was lunchtime. You want smoke? I give you 19, which is one nine. The price is the price. I ain't budging any. Competition could be a lot different if you copping 20. With a semi son, I'll hop out on anyone. Screaming out black jack before I give him 21. And I'm cool, cool, make you strip with a 2 2. You got two choices get struck or put on your effing 2 2. Enemy, stronger mentally. Should be rating 23. Let's go. Let's bring it right back on. Let's go. Y'all. Niggas want to see me battle rappers? I rap battle battle rappers and kill battle rappers with the names of battle rappers. Like, let's do the math. I'm the best and I mean it. I look good smacking niggas. I'm really conceited. Better than me? Hey, yo, that's hard to prove. Suck my dick. I'm disrespectful. Arsenal. 40. Cal in your face? Another by my waistline. I could give you off calico, but I'd rather let the K shine. I'm fine, and I spit mad dollars. Disrespect C7 and my hitman hollers. I be everywhere, but I'm from the VX. Violating, you'll be extinct like a T Rex. I'm so hot, I could kill rappers with A word, A noun, or A verb. Better than me? You're delirious, Holmes. I love playing with words. I got a serious Jones. Talk shit, and I make my click blast you. If these niggas is nice, well, then I'm a disaster. I'll kill you and body your man in the same night. Run through your hood, take your goods in the daylight. You could if you would, but you should take a rest. For Tupac, I'll shotgun Shug in the chest. I'm the best. Ain't no second guessing. So when I'm strapped and loaded, Lux ain't gonna help him. In my last fight, I left one clown red, dumbfounded. I'm known to leave the dumb found dead. I'm ready for war. I will leave them all dead. Hanging from a light pole with my old Cortez. I throw them in a the trunk just for being brave. Because what I do is just not in their DNA. Next to me, it looks like they can hardly spit. I got an ill will wilding out. Charlie Clips and I'm the illest motherfucker. Yeah, you heard me twerk. They be like, whoa, like when my bitches in New Jersey twerk. I get a body like Cassidy. Then I murder you on any app. I be bad as rappers murder move ttg i could rhyme for days even with a surfboard these niggas can't ride my way let's go the one and only goon burgundy c7 you already know what it is golden squad you know the slogan anything golden you found the new, the new party 1019 new york's number one for throwbacks